They had two six-inch emergency coast defence guns in here, June 40. One was sitting here, and one was sitting over that way. Despite the fire, the walls have been, are OK. OK, they've been OK. okay. They've passed the fire inspection. <coughs> and they're going to make about eight living units. And now, they were going to have an office, open plan office, in this lovely big dining room, an ante room. But uh, they had a lot of local objections to that. And so they've now come up with another plan of making those living units. But I'm a bit worried about that because I think you'll lose the character. There were two there. One built 1850, 51. So you see, for two years they didn't have a brick building here. It was a farmhouse where we saw the memorial. There are two powder magazines there, with a traverse behind, you can see the big back. The, the far side of the fort was Rampart Street. Hmm. When the army moved here, the rampart was still there. We leveled it. <laughs> so these are two old powder magazines. This one 1851, that one 1854. Both listed. <laughs> and there's a little, I did some excavation one day, and there's a, I, I know, I'd seen from the maps, there's a little narrow gauge railway, it ran behind each, a little turntable, and then the lines ran down to the gun, down to the gun. taking yeah. ammunition. And uh, I managed to dig out the remains of the turntable. The actual table had gone, but the turn, the uh, was still there. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so, uh, actually, the switch is over there. Yeah. Made the turntable, and then I think there's even a little short length of rail that was yes. visible. Just to run down here, all the way down to the good plan. Yeah. Of course, there was rail, standard gauge rail here in the early 1860s, but uh, until 1887 odd, uh, the only power was horse or man power, and latterly uh, steam traction engine. Yeah, we didn't get our proper first proper steam locator, okay, Manny Ward, until about 1887, 1888. And that was only because we, at that time we were starting to look at expanding into the new ranges. Six or sometime round there when some enthusiast society visited the new ranges and a whole lot of photographs, including things like the Kitchener coach and steamers. And, uh, also the Caledon, one of the two Caledons, which is still around then. The Caledon was a little m m rail lorry with an engine in it. Yeah. A, 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 you know, ordinary petrol ignition engine. And that used to run people up and down and had to look like a lorry, it had a lorry back. But at some stage all the bodywork has taken off. And the WRC, the EAGs, so this is the yeah. Commandant's house. Oh, it looks like it, yeah. The original Commandant. It's a bit bigger than it was when yeah, it was yeah. first built in 54. There's only... They used to pack up work during the winter here. Too cold for them. They all go back to Woolwich. Yeah. And then when the, uh, the um, Crimean started, business picked up rather a lot. So they started, from 54, they started working through the winter. Uh, and they appointed a prop of the first superintendent. And then in my, uh, we have a chap called Mitchell, he was the first proper posted, posting of a superintendent of experiments okay. here. Until then, the, 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 one of the regimental COs at Half Colonel would run the place during the summer. And then in 1859, we had all started up, you know, really expanded, and the school of gunneries being formed. It, he then became commandant and superintendent. Uh, comment and okay. Uh, but the first thing he did when he arrived in 54, which was to have this, this quarter built and a nice paddock made out. Oh, yeah. Still got two wartime air raid shelters here. Oh, yes. Yeah, which yeah. I think are protected. Here yeah, was um, Rampart House Farm, which part of it was uh, made into a two ward hospital. So it was the first hospital was here before they built the one down there. And also the engineers had it as a store. I don't think it probably it was probably 
demolished until 1870 or even later. Because this block was built in 1870, 71, as Long Course Officers' Quarters. But we used to have the Long Course. Oh, did you? Yeah, of course, in the School of Gunnery here. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. The School of Gunnery stayed here until 1920, although the field really did all their work at Lark Hill from the yeah, early yeah, 1900s. Yeah. We used to do the lecturing here. And, and Lark Hill, School of Artillery Lark Hill, was officially formed in 1920. And the School of Gunnery became, they left the Garrison Artillery here, became yeah. the Coast Artillery School. Oh, okay, so that's... Uh, okay, and that, that stayed here till 1940, and then because of all the limitation of yeah, yeah, yeah. convoys yeah, yeah. and Germans around, that moved to Landedno for the duration oh, of the war, yeah, the Coast okay. Artillery School. I didn't know that. No. Then after the war, it moved down to Plymouth, yeah. and until Coast Artillery was abandoned, disbanded in 1956. Yeah. So anyway, this is the... Uh, Monument when uh, seven were killed in the shell action. This just this side of the heavy quick firing battery. That's where it was. Uh, well, the original memorial was a bit further up here because when we did it exactly to the day, a hundred years, in 1985, uh, the PSA were fiddling around down there, so we couldn't put it down near the heavy quick firing. So it was halfway. It was really just by where that machine gun pillbox was in the wall. And one of the descendants of Sergeant Major Dakin is here. In fact, he was instrumental in getting this. The original cairn moved up from here. Yeah. Vandals had pinched the original plate. No, they hadn't. Gladedale had got it, yeah. but it was in terrible condition. But there's a broken six-inch shell on here when it was down there, and that, the vandals had pinched yeah. that, or somebody had pinched it. So this is somebody laid a wreath. Dakin did, actually, Barry Dakin. Four of them were buried at St Andrews. Yeah. I'm not sure I found them when I went there. Well, you, were, you, only find, you only see Gould Adams, mm. and he's got a very big grave. OK. And uh, I, my theory is that the other three were buried with him. Yeah. Mm. But uh, they, pro they probably didn't go to the expense or the, why the gunners didn't pay for a decent memorial, you know, stone for them, I don't know. But it was probably wooden to start with because it was deteriorated and rotted. The PSA sorting it out and they found that rudder, which may well have been belonged to the barge Georgina, which features in some photographs at the turn of the century. You're renting the boathouse now, what was that? That was that just a recreational well, Oh yes, we keep the boats in there.